after like all my dating experience i feel like these five tips was a way for me to attract better men and i felt like that's how i started dating better men and kept elevating the type of men i was seeing because i followed these five certain tips much more personal on my youtube channel my goal is to hit 1000 subscribers by the end of this year so i'm trying to make videos that are relatable that other girls that are similar to me can relate to and can learn something from so i am bringing y'all this video today it's gonna be juicy we are talking about how to attract and date better men. Yes, I know y'all been trying to find better men and date better men. Y'all said all these things about these men and this dating pool. We not even finna get into it, but I'm here to give y'all some tips. And if you are interested in something like this, stay tuned. So from girl to girl, you feel me? So let's just be honest with each other here you want to learn how to attract better men and date better men ultimately and how you end up doing that it's a couple things you gotta work on okay so let's get into it so tip number one you need to have your financials together sis i know you don't want to hear it i know you don't i know the man's supposed to be the provider this and that but when I tell you, when you have your financials together, certain things don't even bother you by men. Like certain things you won't do because you got your shit together. So whether that is get your degree, get your license, get your certification, get a job, whatever that means, you need to be able to take care of yourself because you don't want to go into dating a man looking for handouts or looking desperate for money or looking like you're depending on a man you know you gotta have your own shit together sis you gotta boss up it's gonna be 2024 you gotta know who you are and you have to be able to depend on yourself first before you even start dating and i tell my men this too like my guy friends i tell them that they gotta have themselves together too before you start dating i feel like that goes for men and women before you start dating anybody you need to be able to pay your own bills you need to be able to feed your own self and you need to be able to afford the lifestyle that you want for yourself ladies so you can't go into dating thinking like oh this man man's supposed to do everything for you because you may run off the right man okay and we don't want to do that we want to keep all the good men coming attracting to you so boss men, they love a boss woman. They want a woman that don't have to depend on them for nothing. They just want them. You know, they just want that man's presence. They don't need that man to pay their bills, to keep a roof over their head, to feed themselves. And it's sad to say, but you're an adult. You should be able to do these things on your own, okay? So I really feel like that's the first thing first. Like before you can start dating a man they have to come to you and they have to be attracted to you and before they are attracted to you and before you try to get in this dating pool i'm telling you when you have yourself together and your financials together you are going to carry a certain aura a certain presence to attract men to you because they know you don't need them you just want them okay so there's a difference between that so number two on how to attract and ultimately date better men. Girl, this might be a given, but keep your looks up. Keep your looks up. Keep your hair done. Keep your nails done. Get cute outfits, okay? Keep your toes done. Men are physical creatures. Women are more emotional. So women, we don't mind a guy that may look a little raggedy, no haircut, whatever. But men, they love a girl that 
just keep themselves up like a girl that is a girl's girl they love a girl that have a cute outfit or a cute hairstyle you know looking good and whatever that means to you that's what you should do in order to attract better men a good man love a pretty put together woman so i'm telling you like women are, are like prized possession like even rich men they don't care how much money you got a lot of men don't care how much money you got having money is for you but they do care about what you look like what their boys think of you what their f family and friends think of you like do you look like somebody that could be a trophy wife or it can be somebody that could be a cute passenger princess or do you look like somebody they want to hide and just sleep with at night and don't take them out on dates because you're not keeping yourself up i know even when times get hard and finances get a little tough sometimes it may be a little bit easier to let yourself go but you all even when you don't have much money you will always want to have a certain look whether that is not being able to get your nails done but can get your toes done or whether that is wearing your natural hair for a while whatever that is on a budget you will still want to keep yourself up on a budget too okay you don't ever want somebody to think that you don't know how to carry yourself as a woman and look good okay so tip number three speaking of carrying yourself as a woman definitely exude and practice class a good high value man loves a classy lady okay and that goes for looks and personality like yeah you want to look good you want to not dress trashy not dress slutty things like that but also carrying class having class as a personality trait when i tell you it makes a world of difference and it set you apart from the next girl it makes you not look average like when you carry a certain class you're very ladylike you know when you don't wear certain things don't act a certain way don't talk a certain way you ultimately set yourself apart and you automatically have this attraction and even women and men will feel like they can come to you because you just look like you got your shit together like having class is in style now i know this new generation try to make all this ghetto ratchet stuff normalized and try to make that like the new type of lifestyle for a black woman but don't believe the hype when i tell you that shit's going to get old quick and we're going to go back to the 90s we're going to go back to where the classy ladies are winning look at lori harvey for example you know look at coco jones look at Halle bailey these girls exude a certain type of or you know and you know what i mean the girls that get it get it they exude a certain type of class and that is something that you should want for yourself and i'm not even gonna talk about the people that don't have class or the girls you know don't carry themselves in a certain way because you know who they are look at the difference between the ladies with the class and the ladies without the class which one do you want people to think you are you feel me so i really feel like that is another way to attract better men and men that are on a higher caliber than the men that you were dating before another tip tip number four definitely be positive chill and a sweet lady ultimately like men love a good chill positive girl like you can have all this class uh financials and look pretty but ultimately you're a negative nancy like nobody want to be around you you always want a man to feel like he can be safe with you he can let his guard down with you and i'm telling you men love to feel safe in a woman's presence and if you give off nothing but negativity toxicity ratchetness rudeness meanness like a man don't want to be around you and your aura is going to reflect that and when i tell you when you just have a more positive clean outlook and you're very sweet you're very nice you're very polite a man loves that like you're going to attract him to you because men gravitate to people that are nice to them they're very simple ultimately like all this mean rudeness to these men like men 
they may like it for a minute but ultimately they like the girl that's going to make them a sandwich versus the girl that's going to say oh you ain't my man or you ain't my boyfriend you ain't, i am married to you they gonna like that girl a little bit more than the girl that's rude as fuck to them you know i mean i know people like to play hard to get or whatever and i'm not saying you don't have to but it comes a time and a place where okay it's enough is enough you don't have to keep playing this hard to get type of role you can you know be nice and sweet and ultimately like so many men love that when i tell you i used to get so when i was single i used to get so many compliments on just being a nice sweet lady i'm already soft-spoken um i'm already very positive so when you put that into perspective and also put just being a good person and giving these chill good vibes they just want to come to you i'm telling you i'm telling you like i've seen it for my own eyes and then definitely the last tip tip number five is have men meet certain standards so after you attract all these men to you by doing these uh, these tips ultimately you got to start choosing from the different men you know so you got to choose which one you want to actually date and date and take serious so uh, when you do that you have to go by a certain standard and certain criteria for a man to continue to see you so i feel like having certain standards will take away the guys that don't mean you no good like take away the guys that just want to play games or the guys that ultimately want to waste your time these men need to meet certain standards if they're not hitting it then they gotta go and i know sometimes it's hard because you like a guy for a certain reason or whatever because he's cute or because he got you know no 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 but ultimately if he's not meeting certain standards but you gotta let him go and abiding by your standards is a big big way for you to ultimately date better men because certain things you're not going to cut it so you're not even going to give them the time of day you're not even going to even get to the dating stage because he didn't meet certain standards certain qualifications certain criteria you feel me so when you just start caring about oh this oh that and you care about like the serious real things that really matter you're ultimately going to end up dating better men automatically because you didn't tolerate certain bullshit so it's going to leave the guys that do meet that criteria and then you will take them serious and ultimately this guy will be better than your last guy because you follow certain criteria and he had to meet certain standards to talk to you you get what i'm saying so i will make another separate video on um different standards that a guy should meet before he dates you and I can go a little bit more in detail about that tip. But ultimately, these men need to follow a certain standard to even talk to you, take you out, date you, period. Because if not, you're going to be dating the same type of guy that you've been dating and nothing has changed. You feel me? So I hope this really helps some ladies. Um, After like all my dating experience, I feel like these five tips was a way for me to attract better men and i felt like that's how i started dating better men and kept elevating the type of men i was seeing because i followed these five certain tips so again once you got your financials together once you keep your looks up once you exude and practice class once you are a positive chill and sweet lady and once you hold men to a certain standard i'm telling you you're going to attract all these damn men and you're going to be able to choose you're going to be choosy and you're going to get to see that your dating game has went up a hell of a lot because they are just way better quality men than what you were dating before so I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all for another video. Bye.